Souls choose to come to earth to evolve. That is our only reason for being on the planet. And chances are, if you're here watching this video, you are already a high level soul. And you've chosen to be here at this moment to explicitly experience soul excellence. That is to experience one of the highest lessons that you can here on earth so that you can ascend in your next lifetime. In this video, I want to share with you what exactly does soul excellence mean and three ways that you can start living out your soul's excellence right here, right now. Now, for your soul to experience soul excellence, it actually has to go out into the world. It has to venture out into the world. And the word venture means a big, risky, daring journey. So the only way that your soul can expand, the only way that you can experience soul excellence is to venture, is to make bold moves. And that's going to look really different for each of us. But in a nutshell, you're going to have to do some scary things in this lifetime. But the good news is, is that you're prepared. You actually have been preparing your entire life, the one that you remember here on this earth and many lifetimes before for this experience, for this, let's call it adventure of venturing into your soul's excellence. So to recap, each of us is here for a soul excellence venture. Each of us is here to venture into the unknown, to experience the excellence of our soul. Now, this term soul excellence ventures was a term that I coined back in February of 2020, unbeknownst to me of what it really meant for me and my lifetime and what it means for all of us here in 2024. So in February of 2020, I decided to venture into the unknown. I decided to leave a corporate career trajectory in technology in San Francisco, move across the country to South Florida, and follow a whispering of my own soul to follow this notion of soul excellence. And so I incorporated the company as Soul Excellence Ventures, not really sure why. And I was on this mission to amplify the wisdom of conscious leaders. Again, not really sure why. I was just following what was coming through. And what was coming through to me at the time was largely coming through through writing. I was writing a ton in my journals every single day and noticing what stuck out to me and Soul Excellence Ventures was born. It's an LLC here in Florida. So Soul Excellence Ventures was a beautiful term. I started building things around it, but here's the thing. It wouldn't be until right here, right now, four plus years later, that I fully understand how I was planting seeds in the past for my current self to reconnect with, rediscover, and re-understand that that mission was part and parcel to who I am. And if you're here, for each of us, we are all on this mission to venture out into the world, venture into the inner world, and experience soul excellence. Quick side note here, it is very easy for us to look out into the world and see excellence. If you watched the Olympics, you saw excellence of the physical body taking form in amazing maneuvers and people winning competitions. If you see the creation of beautiful architecture, if you see a beautiful farm that runs really well, you are seeing the manifestation of excellence. Now, when it comes to the soul journey, and excellence at the soul level, that can be a little hard to spot in the world. But as you connect to your own soul's excellence, you will absolutely be able to feel it. You see, soul excellence, at least from my current understanding, is really about us seeing how we can begin to shift within our bodies from 3D to 5D. And really what that looks like is from fear to love, from guilt to joy, and really being able to allow ourselves to express and be exactly who we are. Beyond that, soul excellence, the indicators or hallmarks of it is our awareness, for example, of patterns that we cycle through in our lives. And that moment where we start to say, you know what, this is a pattern. This means it's a lesson that I'm here to learn okay, how do I not let it happen again and instead choose differently? And all of these choices start with an internal awareness and an internal commitment. And so how do you know if you're following your soul's excellence? It truly is a feeling state, a feeling of creating 
total alignment in the body, following a deep sense of inner knowingness and connecting on a daily basis to your heart. It's really at the simplest level, it means living from the heart instead of the egoic mind. Now we use our minds, but again, in service to the heart, in service to the soul and in service, as many of us are realizing to a much bigger planetary universal mission that we're here for at this time. So to recap, excellence kind of in the old way, in the old world of doing and building, it's pretty easy to spot. And it's easy to spot when things are not excellent out in the world. When it comes to your own soul, though, what excellence will start to feel like is an inner mastery, an inner mastery of our emotions, an inner mastery of realizing people, situations, and experiences that trigger us, that those are places for healing and for ascension. It's also going to feel like at this moment, a deep remembering, a deep homecoming, a deep sense of belonging. I know for many of us who have started to realize that we are here for a bigger purpose, you may use the term star seed or perhaps just awakened conscious being, you've probably felt lonely a lot of the times, like you didn't quite fit in. And so once you start to feel at home, in your body, in the soul, and allow yourself this physical experience and connect with other star seeds or people like you, that's another sign that you are following and feeling your soul's excellence. And to do that, you have had to venture into the unknown, into the uncomfortable, into the undesirable, into the muck. <laughs> and I really feel like, gosh, it's taken me a long, long time and so many lessons and so many just like slaps in the face over the years to fully wake up and to recognize what's actually happening here. And so part of me really appreciates the fact that I've had so many human experience. I, like this awareness of being a star seed didn't come online when I was six, at least that I know of, right? I mean, I knew I was different, but it wasn't at this level. And so I feel like I've allowed myself or to experience some serious human trauma and drama and pain and suffering so that I could better empathize with the totality of the human experience, knowing that I come to this planet from a place where th th those sensations just are not felt. And so I can see how I've been molded and shaped by venturing out into the world and having so many experiences to be in this moment to now communicate from a really grounded place of having gone through all of the human experiences that I have up until this point. So let's now get into three ways that you can connect to your soul's excellence adventure by venturing into the unknown. Now, as I have ventured into the unknown in the last six to nine months and really started to dock in an awareness that I am here to relay galactic wisdom for earthly living, there's three things that I've had to do on a consistent basis. And on the one hand, they're pretty obvious. On the other hand, like all things that are simple, for some reason, we struggle to just do them or in a lot of these cases, just be them. So first of all, I want you to imagine for a moment, just close your eyes and ask yourself, what is your venture? If it's easier to imagine what is your adventure, then please go ahead. When I say, what is your venture? What is the next big, scary, daring, bold thing that your imagination is dreaming up for you right now? What is that decision that feels like it's looming on the horizon that you know you want to make, that leap you want to take? And there might be some fear around it. That's okay. But just take a moment, pause this video if you need to, and ask yourself, what is my next soul's venture? And I'd love to know, please share in the comments what you wrote down. Let's make this an engaging interaction of people all around the world. What is your soul's next venture? Now, once you've had a little bit of time to sit with it, it's, it's not an obvious question, right? There's a lot of different possibilities, limitless possibilities. But there's three things that once you start to discern that, no, you're here for a truly soulfully excellent venture on this earth, there's three things that you have to do. And the first one is to listen. Listen to the whispers. Listen to your inner voice. Create space to listen. In the new earth, we are spending a lot more time listening and being 
as opposed to talking and doing. Yes, we will talk. Yes, we will do. But it'll come from a place of sitting in an empowered seat of listening and being before taking action. There will be more pause. There will be more presence. There will be more, let me let this settle in for a moment before I take a flurry of action. So your first step is to listen. Now, what are all of the ways that you can listen to your soul? So many tools, so many tools I've used over the years. Number one, you could wake up in the morning and start writing. You could follow a routine of morning pages, which you know I love, following Julia Cameron's The Artist's Way. It's one way. You, of course, could start to allow yourself to connect into your higher consciousness and your higher guides through channeling. And if you want to open up your channel and awaken your channel, join my course, Awakening to Channel. Link is in the bio. I'll take you through exactly how to do this, provide you with resources I've used on my own journey, and allow for you to engage in in-depth discussion with myself on this topic. So please join us there. We'd love to have you. It's open now, Awakening to Channel. And another way I like to listen is by noticing my dreams. So much is happening in the dream state. Perhaps you can drop into a meditative state. Ask better questions. Ask what your soul wants to express. Ask what lessons you're here to learn and trust what comes through. So first thing you can do is listen. Now, the second thing that you can do is to accept. (laughs) And the way that I like to think about acceptance in this case is how to, how to best share this with you to accept what's coming through. A lot of us can spend a lot of time, a lot of years, a lot of decades in resistance and in doubt, self doubt around what we're noticing. Um, just like, uh, yeah, like we see signs, but we're like, okay, that's just, random. (laughs) But at some point, we each have to make the decision to accept the synchronicities that are showing up in our lives. Now, there's a lot more I could say on this, but it means that if we see the signs, we have to start accepting them into our field a little bit more. Let me give you an example. Just yesterday, I made the decision to opt out of a workplace environment that I'd been in for the last nine months. And it was a long time coming, but yesterday was the the decision was made. And as I drove home, following my soul's excellence, wild adventure, which was incongruous with the environment that I was in, I was driving home. I went a different way, which is interesting. And as I stopped at a stop sign, there was a really beat up car in front of me. And on the back windshield, there was a faded sticker. And the sticker was the universal symbol for El Camino de Santiago, the way of St. James pilgrimage through the north of Spain, through Portugal, through France, ending in Santiago de Compostela. Now that symbol, a shell scallop symbol, symbol, and in this case, it was a version of it that looks more like a star. Some of you may know, ultimately was inspiration for my own company logo four years ago, Soul Excellence's logo, you'll see it. And of course that was inspired because I've personally walked on the way of St. James, the Camino de Santiago on two occasions in 2012 and 2016. And so as I had made this decision yesterday, the fact that a symbol showed up in my field of something deeply meaningful to me not well known here in the U.S., and most importantly, of Santiago de Compostela, which you've heard me say Compostela comes from the Latin Compostelari, which is field of stars. You can imagine my mind being blown as I just was like, everything's docking in, and I'm accepting this sign. I'm accepting this sign. It's completely not random that this car is in front of me at this particular moment with this symbol. So, Start to keep a journal, start to track when these signs show up for you, and you will start to build faith and confidence in your own soul's journey. You'll start to notice, it's like you'll start having a laugh with yourself all day, every day of like, oh my gosh, can you believe that again? And you're like, yeah, I can, because I'm putting it into my reality. (laughs) Like, 
It's kind of the conversation that I had yesterday. Um, actually, look right here. I literally have a book, the Camino de Santiago, Guía del Camino Norte, which is a beautiful route in northern Spain. Um, <laughs> and uh, actually, can we do this real quick? Is there a is there a shell picture right here? I should include some pictures, and um, I feel like there's not a really good one. Okay. I'll include more in the comments. Okay, so that's step two, to accept. Which brings us to step three, embodiment. Embody your soul's excellence. Embody your soul's knowingness. And what this means for me right now is a full opt-in on the mission. And to be fully opt in, opted into something, you have to fully opt out of other things. You are choosing your timeline. You're choosing where you're focusing your energy. And so ask yourself, what must I opt into for this venture, for this big, risky, bold move? And what must I opt out of? People, relationships, situation, ways of being, old forms. You know, the, um, I, for me, for example, I had to opt out of the expectation structure and approach of old world forms of business. My soul has been there, done that. We've had that experience. Like there's nothing interesting for the soul anymore. It's like, we got it. We know, we know how to do this. It's not interesting. So opting out of that to opt into the world of galactic wisdom for earthly living, which is simultaneously where I feel most at home, most on fire, most focused, most excited to learn. And at the same time can feel like a beginner, like, oh my gosh, there's so much here. And I think that's a beautiful place to be where we feel like, yep, we belong here. And there's so much room to grow. So imagine you're a really talented soccer player and you make the U.S. Olympic team and you're like, I so belong here and I am going to have to be the best I can be to actually make the starting 11. That's kind of how this feels like, no, you're really good. You trained, you're here. And as all of you know, who've mastered certain things, once you met you, every door opens another one. This really is a never ending unfolding and never, un never ending expression of our beautiful souls. So let me know in the comments, what are you opting out of? <laughs> Goodbye. What are you opting into? Yes, I am following. Once you follow these three things, and this is just consistent practice on a daily basis, listen, accept, embody. Listen, maybe insert discern before accept, embody. This constant cycle will help your soul to evolve and experience soul excellence in this lifetime. And where we go after, I guess we will only find out later, but we're here for earthly living, for appreciating, for loving this world so much, even if at times we know that we are not fully from here. What a beautiful way to bring it all together, to bring your starseed origins down to the planet, to bring your higher consciousness into your body. So let me know in the comments, what's your venture, what you're opting into, opting out of. Join us in the course Awakening to Channel. This will give you the structure and the tools to walk through this process until it becomes habit, until you're always connected to your heart, to your higher self, and to your highest guides. I invite you to check out the next video to learn more about the Awakening to Channel course. Subscribe to keep staying sort of on top of your own soul excellences expansion. And thank you so much for being here on this journey.